Okay, so you want your students to use bell ringers, but you're wondering about the accountability to make sure they're actually paying attention and doing the work. So I'm gonna walk you through what this looks like in my world. So on Mondays, let's say we're warming up with mechanics usage and grammar. This was when I was teaching high school English, and so I'm really speaking specifically to high school students. The students come in, they get out their binders, a sheet of binder paper, and they're gonna write down these raw sentences exactly as they are, mistakes and all. And then as a class, there'll be one volunteer at the board, they're going over marking the edits that the class thinks should be included. And then we go over all of them in sort of a mini lecture where the students with a different color ink are going to write down the edits. So it'll look something like that. Now, to make sure students are actually doing their notes, I collect this every three weeks, or once we kind of get the routine down, I do it every five weeks. So at the third time we've done this, I'll collect this paper, and students can get themselves organized either in a three-ring binder like this, or they could do like a little composition notebook where they're gonna write down, obviously I didn't write it down here for you, but they'd have their three entries here, and then they would just like turn in the whole notebook to me, and then I would give it back to them a few days later. So the accountability tool here is for points. And the way I grade mugshots is I give three points per sentence. So each entry is worth six points. So if there were three weeks worth, it would be six times three. So this would be 18 points worth of work just for accurate note taking, which is a pretty sweet deal. My classes are pretty challenging. Um, and so easy points just for accurate note taking, uh, kids want that. It's funny, the first time we do this, they, I think don't believe that I'm actually going to go over all of them with a fine tooth comb. And so the scores are always kind of low on that first round, but on second round beyond, they're always really, really strong because who doesn't want easy grabby points? Um, so then that would be for like grammar practice. But then also let's say we're doing Lit Term Tuesday. So this one's more just like definition and I start with a mini lecture. I still expect students to take notes on this and so their notes will look like this. And by the way, on the notes, you can just pause my video, snap a screenshot, kind of see what it looks like here. So while I'm talking and I'm you know giving them examples about how theme works and then later we practice with a Harry Potter example and then we practice with Shrek, and then they do that in their notes. These are for them. And just like for Words on Wednesday, vocabulary, SAT level vocabulary, these notes are for them. They're gonna take notes of what we're, of what we're talking about here. They're gonna be, the accountability is quizzing on things like lit terms and words on Wednesday. Um, also, our end of term final exam is very heavy on bell ringer content. So that's how I do it. Questions? Let me know. I'm running out of time. I hope this helps. Okay.